Hi guys, it's Tony here from APD. Um, just making a quick video to show you the difference in signal integrity between running a twisted pair signal wire and a single ended non twisted pair signal wire. So, over here, I have a test setup. It consists of a six cell battery uh, connected to the PDB Radix flight controller, and that's connected to a APD 120 amp ESC. And that's driving um, a MAD motor with a 13 inch prop. Um, now, uh, what I'll do first is show you what a normal signal looks like. So, so they're our signal pulses, they're coming through normally, there's no noise. That's the yellow trace that you see there. Alright, so everything's nice and clean. We're getting signal pulses coming through at roughly 4 kilohertz. Uh, 4 kilohertz is our loop time. Okay, now I'm going to run this setup. Uh, that's 10% throttle. I'm going to do a 100% burst and the scope will capture that burst and show us and take a snapshot of the signal line during that burst. So I've just got a bit of flight here. Uh, okay, so that's, that's our current coming into the ESC. Um, now that's hitting the current limiter up here because it's sitting at 200 amps uh, because the clamp meter the clamp meter gives us uh, 1 millivolt per amp so spooling that prop basically sits on the current limiter uh, but anyways we are interested in the current draw we're looking at the signal line now you can see during heavy current or during high load uh, the signal line gets a bit noisy so you've got all this ground noise that occurs over here um, however you can see we're still getting pulses coming through and, 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 and they all look good so that's not going to interfere too much with the microcontroller because uh, that ground level shift uh, that potential difference between ground and, and, and the signal ground isn't enough to confuse the microcontroller or to make it cross to a high level threshold um, but anyways so I'm, I'm going to unsolder the signal ground now from both ends uh, of, of the signal wire and I'll show you the difference so currently the signal ground in this case here it's not actually carrying current but what it does is it shields the signal wire from noise which comes off these high current cables uh, so what I'll do is I'll unsolder that now and then I'll capture another trace and I'll show you the difference okay so I've unsoldered the wire from the the ground wire from the PDB why isn't this phone focusing okay you can see that's just a floating ground wire right there it's not connected to anything we've just got the signal wire coming in and on this end over here as well so we've got our we've got our ground wire right there so that's not actually connected to anything um, now I'll run that again and we can have a look at the difference in, in the amount of noise <laughs> Yeah, so you can see there's a huge difference in the amount of noise that's coupled onto, onto the signal wire uh, once we remove our signal ground. And once again, the reason being is because uh, these are high current wires and um, that current produces a magnetic field and then that gets coupled onto the signal wire uh, and and produces a voltage in the signal wire so having the ground connected on both ends it, it effectively gives us a shield around that wire uh, if only if it's a twisted pair um, yeah so with that amount of noise um, 
we the ESC is going to miss a lot of packets around this region here once all that ground noise gets to the high threshold voltage which is roughly between one to two volts which is about there it's gonna it, over here it really ties up the microcontroller in processing garbage signals and tossing them away and also it corrupts all our all our good signals too yeah so now signal grounds aren't really important for five inch quads uh, for a couple of reasons because um, firstly we're not pushing 200 amps per motor at 12 s and also we're not uh, our lead length is a lot shorter so there's a lot less noise in a five inch quad and this is why it's critical because of because of the high power situation in these larger uh, beast class and x class multi-rotors it's critical that we have uh, that that twisted pair signal ground there to, to ensure uh, the ESC is receiving the right uh, the right packets from from the from the flight controller yeah so for five inch quads it's not that important because you know they're low power compared to these but once again on these it's really critical because that's nearly 20 or 30 milliseconds there where we've just had no signal it's just all garbage yeah thanks for watching guys